Hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel. My name is Luis Portales and for today's video we're going to be talking about Miss Universe 2022 but more precisely about Miss Universe India, Miss Divita Rai and her chances of winning the competition this year. So I know that a lot of you have been requesting that I talk about her a little bit more here on the channel so I made this video specifically for you where I'm going to dive in pretty much everything that she has done so far and I will give you my honest opinion on whether or not I think that she is capable of pulling a back-to-back -back win for India. So if you enjoyed this video and find some sort of value in it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and be part of the conversation in the comment section down below. I will see you right after the intro. Okay everyone, so let's address the obvious. Divita Rai has one of the most challenging tasks of any contestant of Miss Universe this year, and that is to pull a back-to-back -back win for her country. However, this is something that is still possible because it has been done once before in the history of Miss Universe. However, to achieve this, Divita Rai will have to stand out compared to all of her candidates. And I said this on a previous video, she will also have to be a clear winner. And what I mean by that is that she will have to be so good, so excellent, that there will be no room to question whether or not she deserves to win the crown. Not only because a back-to-back -back win has only happened once in the entire history of this universe, but also because the organization needs to calm down the international fans. If they feel like there is some sort of favoritism with other countries, they might get upset or even riot. <laughs> So to make this a more cohesive conversation, I have prepared a list of points that I want to touch on about Divita and then at the end I will give you my opinion about her chances of winning the crown. Now, let's start with her communication skills. If you have been following Divita since the beginning, you know that she is a very smart, informed, eloquent and level-headed women, which I think is so, so important. What I mean by that is that sometimes, you know, you have people who know that they're smart and they come across as being a little bit arrogant. This is really not the case with Divita. At least personally, I can really relate to everything that she says. And I think that she has this gift of taking very complex information that might be difficult to access for a lot of people and simplify it in a way that is very accessible. One of my favorite conversations that she had this year was uh, a live interview that she had with Amanda Dudamel, Miss Universe Venezuela 2022 as well. It was just a live on Instagram, but in my opinion, Amanda is one of the strongest speakers this year and Divita was really up there with her. She was able to keep up. She was able to make it interactive, entertaining, and at the same time, still showcase under a light that was very, very positive. I think that's really incredible. Other than preparing with her traditional team at the Miss Diva organization, she has also been doing a lot of media appearances. And I'm talking about both traditional media, such as TV, magazines, and journals, as well as non-traditional media, which is more like the YouTube type of thing, like the Instagram lives, and all of those interactions that happen online. In all cases, she has remained very, very focused and very connected with the fandom, which I think is so important because at the end of the day, you are representing them. Now let's talk about something else that is very important and that is her walk and her presence. I think that this is of course one of her strengths as well. When I look at Divita's walk, I always think of someone who is extremely, extremely fierce, but at the same time, she still gives us this aura of being an approachable woman, a very elegant and refined woman without coming across as arrogant. I don't know if you can picture what I'm saying, but sometimes when you overdo it, you're overly performing and you seem so confident of yourself, like no one can get on your level. Personally, that really throws me off a little bit. I think that Divita gives us the perfect balance of fierceness and a likable personality on stage while she is performing. You already know that she knows her angles, she has the flow, she knows the rhythm, and it just feels like she is having fun on stage. So important for the audience to feel that, not just to see it, but to feel it, because that's how we also enjoy the moment ourselves, you know? If you've seen someone on stage struggling or you think that they might be nervous, for us as part of the viewers, it takes us out of the experience and it becomes a distraction. Luckily, Divita has none of those problems. And what a lot of people tend to forget as well is that of course Divita was appointed, meaning that this woman already has some pageant experience. She competed back in 2021 at Miss Diva and how can we forget the batch of girls? I mean, some of the most loved Indian beauty queens come from that batch, of course, Harnas, who ended up winning Miss Universe in 2021. But simultaneously, we have Ritika, who also managed to make a huge impact at Miss Supernational. And although she didn't manage to get the placement that a lot of people thought that she deserved, still, it is undeniable that she had a memorable performance. Now, let's touch on a very important subject, especially this year at Miss Universe, and that is her background and her leadership. 
I know that we have heard and the owner of Miss Universe talking about this over and over again. She's like a broken record at this point. Transformational leader. Okay, so does Divita has what it takes to be a transformational leader and what do we interpret from that? To take that into consideration, I first need to look into her background and Divita graduated as an architect. So first thing that that says to me, this is a hardworking woman. Architecture is not an easy career path. I know people who graduated from architecture and they literally had no life for years because they have to commit completely and 100% to school. So knowing already that she is a very smart woman, we also have to consider that she is navigating the waters in a male dominated industry, which for a woman can be quite challenging because you know that you have to make space for yourself because other people will not do it. When you go into the room, you have to be there on your A game. You have to be ready to prove your point and defend yourself when sometimes you might be dismissed. So having that into consideration, uh, I think that Devita has a very strong character. She is very resilient. She knows how to carry herself and handle herself. And I think that all of those things really uh, appear when you look at her, when you uh, evaluate how she behaves during social interactions. Now, on the other side of things, she is also a model and she has a lot of experience when it comes to that, which I also think it's so important because being someone who is in the public eye, you need to be able to sell yourself, to make yourself likable, to make yourself approachable, especially when you are in the shoes of a beauty queen who immediately becomes a worldwide public figure. So when you combine these two things, Jivita's experience when it comes to her studies in architecture and everything that she had to go through to achieve that, as well as her experience as a model, making herself look marketable and likable, I think that she has the best of both worlds to achieve a perfect package for a leader. However, there is more to that than just looks and brains. A leader is someone who must be able to guide a group of people to take them through different obstacles and teach them valuable skills. What I think Miss Anne means by transformational leader, it is someone who will be able to transform the lives of those who are following her, who might be impacted, who might be inspired by her reign and everything that she will do as a title holder. Now, one of the most important points in my opinion, Trivita is her very own person. And as easy as that might sound, I see this mistake over and over again. New pageant candidates always like to go towards the ones that already made an impact, who left their mark. So they package themselves in a way that they might have a resemblance or people might attach them to previous winners and title holders. I think that this would have been a deadly mistake for David because of course her predecessor, Harna Sandhu, already won the title of Miss Universe in 2021. And it would have been so easy for her team to package her in the same way. However, Harnas already had her reign. The Miss Universe organization achieved the things that they wanted to achieve with Harnas already. And this time around in 2022, they are not looking for another Harnas. They're looking for someone completely different who will bring new things, a fresh face. Let's not forget that Miss Universe since last year already changed owners as well. So I think that this year they're looking for a more commercial queen, more marketable, and the entire leadership thing is just the cherry on top of it. I think that Devita, through her hard work, her presence, her communications, her public appearances, her commitment, has already detached herself from everyone else, and I see her as her own entity. So in my humble opinion, she's in the right place, and hopefully also in the right mindset to face the competition and give her best. So this takes us to the final question. Do I think that Devita Wright has what it takes to win the Miss Universe crown in 2022 and hopefully pull a back-to-back -back win for India? This is a very subjective question, you guys. And of course, I don't have a right or wrong answer. It is impossible to predict what is going to happen. However, this is what I can tell you. Based on her preparation and everything that we have seen so far, at least publicly, because we don't have access to her core team, we don't know what is going on behind the scenes, we know that Divita is super, super prepared. A back-to-back -back win has already happened only once in the entire history of Miss Universe, so we have to acknowledge that it's a very difficult thing to do. In my opinion, the entire strategy here should be for Divita to at least crack the top five, because when she cracks the top five, then she goes to the Q&A round, and that is where she will have a chance to shine, to really steal the attention, eat the microphone, and prove everyone that she has what it takes to be the next Miss Universe. But keep in mind that even there, ultimately, the decision belongs to the judges and to the organization. So for Divita to be the next Miss Universe, regardless of all of the efforts and everything that she puts into it, 
the organization also has to want her as the next title holder. At the end of the day, my message to all of her fans and her supporters is just keep doing what you're doing and keep on loving her the way that you do. You know, I see it every single day in my comment section. Every time I post a video about Miss Universe, there are so many people from India and from all over the world rooting for Divita as well. So no matter what happens, what the outcome of the pageant is, the most important thing is that you still support her because before or after the pageant, she will still be the same woman with the same capacities, qualities, and dreams that she would like to achieve as well. So crown or not, she will still be the same impactful woman that you all love and support. Go down in the comment section and let me know how do you feel about this entire video and my little assessment about Miss Divita Rai, uh, Miss Universe India 2022 and her chances of winning Miss Universe 2022 as well. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button to support my channel and please, please, please subscribe as well. And I will see you guys soon with more content about Miss Universe, which is only in a few days. I'm freaking out. Okay, see you soon guys. Stay safe. Bye now.